So Dean, you were telling us this Liberty Coach has a special meaning to it? Well, this is uh, what we're gonna say is number one. This is what started our relationship with Liberty Coach. When did you paint this coach? Uh, let's say 2012. And how many Liberty Coaches have you painted since then? Well, you're about 140 to 150 since then. We've done uh, over 500 power boats and now probably a couple hundred total coaches over the lifespan. So uh, 140 of those being uh, Liberty Coach. We're here at the Liberty Coach Rally looking at probably close to 100 Liberty Coaches here right now. Oh, it's incredible, yeah. A lot of your artwork all in one place. Now right next to us, we're looking at one of the newer, I believe this is a 2019 What's some of the stuff that's changed uh, over the last uh, decade plus? Well, simple things, just as the logo of uh, the signature. If you look at uh, this signature versus the other signature, has uh, gotten more refined. And um, here a couple years ago, we changed the logo. So this was the same logo as in 2012. And then it's just currently changed. We'll show you what that one looks like. All right, now I've got to ask you, I was walking through here this morning and this coach to my right really caught my attention. What's the story on this one? Well, this was done before my last coach and Larry D'Addario really had a vision on uh, doing some things that hadn't been done on a Liberty before. And uh, part of that is doing the light awnings up on top. We yeah. Came, we came up with that. This is, if you saw my other coach and this coach together, they look very similar. And I liked this one so much that that's how my theme came about for my last one. It's just beautiful. This is a coach that's actually been in several videos. It's, uh, we saw it in Sturgis, we saw it down at River Landings. I think we even saw it in Colorado. Yeah, this was out in Creed when we were out there. Yeah. yeah. Well, so what I loved about this coach was the blue. The blue we picked for the pinstripes just glows back here. It almost looks like it's neon, right? So. I like that blue so much that that's the blue I used on my pin stripes for my new coach. You also use it on your entire wardrobe too. I, I know, think. right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's so, a Tao'd blue. Yes, sir, and this is one one of the newer ones. Is this a 2021 or? Uh, you know, I lose track on the years, but I'm gonna say yes, yes. So uh, it's got the new design to it, uh, edgy classy cool just really stunning to see it in the sunlight and see it out there man as you as you just see all of them together how cool is this one and then how cool is the other one and they're they're all at the same level they're just they're just different Very so different. someone's gonna want like the browns or someone's gonna like the grays or the reds or the blues you know they're you got a lot of choices and you're gonna see a, a whole bunch of them here I, all together yeah i see an artist series here Totally different, no blues, no reds. We've seen this coach before. This is Arti Artist Series number six. And it's got the perforated vinyl over the windows, a lot going on here. Now we've actually got Artist Series number one here and I've had a lot of people come up and ask me, what does that mean? You know, it says number one. And it's not the first coach we painted for Liberty, but I think it was in 15. So three years after we started, we came up with the artist series, which includes some special effects and, and special ways to paint. Okay, so we saw artist series six. You wanna see if we can't track down artist series number one? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You loved this one at the Tampa show uh, last year. I recognize this, Everybody yeah. Everybody was talking about this coach at Tampa. Yeah, that was really popping. Really rich colors, really a classy, timeless paint job. In the back of the coach, you get one look and you get a, a certain feel. So if that's all you saw was the last five feet, it would mean one thing. But when you come up and then you see it in the middle, oh you know yeah, how different it is up here. Same thing with this one over here as well. Bright and airy. Is this the one that we saw out at uh, Sturgis? I think this is that first coach I filmed with Frank, actually, the first Liberty Coach oh, video I did. Yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah, a little story behind that one. Cool coach. Now, this one is really popping here. So this started out a different color when the customer bought it. 80% of it was already there. We've changed some things, but this is just stunning. So much going on here. I mean, that texture, when you get a close up, 
So we've changed, this is a different style of the Artist Series. See how it's not the, the drips and the runs? Yeah. It's this really cool pattern that's in here. A gold leaf type pattern. So is this an Artist Series then? The, this one turned into an Artist Series when, when when we repainted it. Totally different shade over on blue. Images, ghosts that I, I'm seeing a palm tree, but if you look real close, there's an image up there as well. So here's got the new, so this is number 10, the Artist Series number 10, and that's got the new logo on it. Yeah, I like so it. So we went to the wings. All right, so we've seen number six, number 10. Uh, this one is not an artist series. This is not an artist series. This is unique in its own way with the color combination. You could have a, a, a basically a white coach or light colored coach with blue pins, you know, and it's considered a blue coach, right? Because you got a little color in it. Um, this is absolutely a blue coach yeah. with some white in it. And that's a different combination of what we saw in the other. This one here, is an awesome coach. We just completed a trailer for it. It just oh, showed up. Oh, I just up. saw that, yeah. It just showed up here a little bit ago. It's dirty, so uh, <laughs> I film, saw it from, film it from far away, but we can't wait to see these two hooked up next to each other. And here's a good example of someone asking, do we do a vinyl wrap on the trailer or do we, do we paint it? And this was out in Sturgis this year. He had it wrapped in vinyl. We designed it and we sent it and I said, okay, now here's, like three things you gotta watch for. Whoever matches the color has to print vinyl in all these colors and shades of the colors and go to the back of the coach and take the vinyl and find the color that matches each color off the back of the coach. Then they gotta go back in and plug that into the computer and use that so that it prints properly. You know, that's a big deal getting the colors to print on vinyl the same as what we painted them. Cause we have pearls and metallics, they've got, uh, uh, printing ink on white vinyl. Okay, well, we got it out there and it was not, they had clicked buttons in different ways and changed the changed the uh, the look of how we designed it. So fortunately, fortunately enough, we got it back and uh, we're excited to see the two together and yeah, matched I'm excited. up and painted <laughs> perfect and it always stayed perfect, you know, as far as paint. You know, the vinyl isn't for me. A 2020. Yeah, we'll, we'll be able to see this one even better uh, on the other side. Um, there's some really neat things going on with this. Yeah. Uh, we're into uh, the alligator uh, theme on this. So you, you, you don't see it so much when you're up close, when you stand back, you really start to pick up on the feel of it. The front's actually got a, uh, alligator uh the front of an alligator with the eyes oh look at that the eyes being out here yeah right? and so the nose being coming down to the nose and when you see it it's there and if you don't it's just a neat pattern so like an abstract alligator this one here is just stunning just the reds on here and the way we did the the gradient fades very classy and oh, the different yeah. shades yeah. of red how these red pins these very thin narrow pins really are bright and then a little different shade of red and well, we got a metallic red in the background we got these bright red pins on top of it really add dimension a lot of difficult uh, painting techniques used throughout all these very subtle changes that make uh, them look the way they do so here's another blue coach like we saw several before here and uh, there's not a whole lot of them out here like this which makes this very unique now this is another one i recognize where have i seen this coach at so this would have been out in sturgis and then this is a liberty coach over here before dean started painting and yes you can see the difference side by side What a cool comparison just to see. And this is another totally different style to it, but what a cool look. The camera is really not doing justice of these cream colors and how much this white cream color pattern really pops back here. This is paint. paint. Now. It was vinyl. Okay. And they brought it back to do it correctly. 
needs a good wash job. But I can't yeah. wait to see that hooked up to the bus. Liberty Coach 50th anniversary rally here in Stewart, Florida. This is a new one, brand new one that just got delivered. And the reds again, you know, you may see a lot of blues, but there's a lot of other colors that are still out there that everyone's doing. So yeah, and uh, today's a cloudy day, so we don't have a lot of sunlight, but it just shows how much this pops even on a cloudy day. I can't even imagine in the sunlight what this would look like. And then we get here to, you know, this is before yep, before yep. you were painting, so it's just not we call that BD before Dean. Before Dean, I like it. I like it. Yeah, this, now here's a great one. Yeah. I've never seen this one before because this is over at River Landings. Yeah. Uh, this is a, a great kind of a warm gray uh, color with the, the whites that make it brighter and the blues. Um, very different. And then this has almost got some purple in it. That looks like a periwinkle blue. Yeah, yeah, periwinkle blue. I like it. Oh, that's a good looking coach. What's the story on this? Uh, this is a newer design. The patterns that's on here really throws it into the new and edgy uh, of stuff that we're coming out with. I think this is probably a 15, 16. Well, I like what you've done with the white and black on this. And there's even a ghosted pattern, almost like a cream color. Well, the idea with this was, uh, because there's so many coaches with a lot of color, what would we do that's really cool in the absence of that color yeah like more of black and white yeah and uh very stunning in its own way very clean look to it now if we took this and we painted the door handles like we did on the new ones and then we tinted these got tinted all the uh, marker lights like are on mine how cool would this be because yeah. it really truly only be black and white yeah i see your coach over there which i want to take a little closer look at but uh looks like another artist, artist series here this is uh, one of the newest ones. Yep, you can see the nice pattern that's in the paint. Oh yeah. That is just really a cool look. These colors are really neat the way this detail comes in through here. And it almost gets to be a bronze color and it goes back to black. And it's just it had to be nailed perfect. But I mean, this is just really cool looking. Yeah. These little strings, you know, these little pieces that are in there. You'd think the only way you get that is if you printed it. <laughs> now that's painted that's all that's hand all, painted that's all, pa all hand painted yeah. now this is an artist series over here even on the stacker trailer but what number artist series we're getting a little a little more recent i can tell as things evolve so this is artist series 14 and i think the new one we're doing is even 18. so i think we have had like four in a row that were that were artist series and it started with this one and then the next four nice so People are seeing the benefit of having a, a one-off and a different look, extra time put in it. I know everybody is getting excited about this one. What was your thought process when you when you did all this? You know, um, I I wanted to keep the base color from the last coach. The blue was added, of course. So these big linear blue stripes were added. Uh, the stripes multiple stripes here at the back where i hand spun the metal on it or made it look like hand spun metal the pattern that web shape is what's on our shirts and so we kept that in the middle and in the front and uh you have to get up and look at the pinstripes up on the door they're sprayed with not a paint but only with a flake so it's a metal flake that's adding the that's the only reason why you see them but they get down to a microscopic level and you gotta see how small they get. They get so small that the flake is affecting the quality of the line. And it's just a, 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 out of anything on the coach, it all works together. But when you can get something that small, it really shows what we're capable of. Now this is a pattern unlike anything I've ever seen. What's the story on this coach, sir? You know, we've done so many ghosted patterns that um, I think everybody at Liberty Coach and at The Art of Design wanted to have something a little bolder. And uh, so this uh, is definitely in the bold category. You can see some ghosted lines and there's still some details that are going on in it, but it's not within the pattern. The pattern is bold and the details, the ghosted areas are in other stripes. You were telling me there's a little story behind this pattern? Yeah, so when the customer first saw this, he really loved it because it reminded him of his asphalt business and, and the cracked concrete or, uh, or paving material. So, uh, 
that was kind of the pattern that was used, and then we used that same pattern on his next coach, which uh, we saw was the blue one. Oh, okay. It's used in a different way. You know? Now this coach is just popping. I love the look of this. What's going on? Well, you know, as a designer, you really got to think about all different genres and, and ways to make things look right, and you sometimes limit your, um, your abilities so that you come up with something different. In this case, uh, this is about the third coach we've done with what we call the piano keys. Uh, I like to call them caution stripes. I wanted something bold, something very identifiable. So they, in the beginning, they were caution stripes. And um, how cool to have something so identifiable as this coach is when you see it. So stunning to look at, but it's just with straight lines. Yeah, yeah. The pattern is straight lines. Just and if it's not done the right way with the right detail, it's just, it doesn't work. I mean, I've played with so many different designs and ideas to to get this all to flow properly a little barbed wire on that one any story on that uh barbed wire there or? oh yeah texas texas couple oh, right? okay so, yeah. yep they had a texas theme going on there absolutely now this is classy right here i love this diamond pattern that is almost ghosted in there and it's a navy blue with the bright white pins just a classy looking coach yep clean and classy so i just heard a story going back about 15 20 years about dean changing the industry jim you've got quite a story about dean going back quite a while what was your position uh 15 20 years ago well i've worked in the coatings industry all my life automotive and aerospace coatings and i was working with axon bell i ran the sickens global automotive and aerospace business and we got a call from the north american team i was living in europe running the global business at the time and we knew who Dean was, and Dean was about to push the envelope even further here. What we needed to do was go back to the lab and make sure that not only the physical property performance of the coatings, you know, the, how they perform in the environment held up, but also give Dean the ability to create the artistry he does at the Art of Design with his team. And it was a pretty good challenge. Outstanding automotive coatings to begin with, but Dean does things you don't do on a normal automobile. 15 layers of paint, 30 layers of paint, small thin airbrush lines, and all this has to have not only the artistic appeal that you can see on, for example, this coach, but also be able to hold up to the elements. And it took a lot of work in the lab because it was a pretty big ask, but it was the ask was worth it because we're obviously quite happy with the end result. Dean, did you know Jim back then or? Uh, I, I knew there was someone like Jim. <laughs> <laughs> I know they go up the ladder, <laughs> Yeah. but uh, it wasn't till a few years ago that we met and Jim, introduce himself and it's like well I know I know who you are and what's going on and so uh, we start talking and I didn't realize the uh, the uh, change the changes that they had to develop to, to make us to keep up with you right that, so, which is just a, a, a great story to hear from the other side so Jim you could you could vouch for Dean that he changed the paint in in the automotive and rv world indeed he did his ask was significant um and and you know we got a lot we got a lot of ask a lot a lot of customers had special requirements uh and we try to meet most of them this was a special one it was worth the investment in the lab down through the supply chain along with your distributor and uh, again look at the end result these beautiful coaches dean's artist reapplied and you still get the property performance meaning the durability out there in their environment where these coaches live so this was your first artist series yeah Look at the cool pattern we have in this. Oh, yeah. One. Truly a piece of artwork being number one. So how did the artist series come about? What's the story, sir? Well, um, you know, we're, we're painting these on a regular basis. Uh, one every three weeks we turn a, a Liberty coach. And uh, the idea was that uh, how can we even take it further? How, how can we give someone an offering who really wants to set themselves apart from the normal Liberty coach? and now put it into a different category. So we've got a lot of different things we're now offering with the Artist Series. Part of it is the, uh, the colors running through the, paint, the door handles, uh, the tinted marker lights, of course the window film, but we have something brand new coming out on the next coach that you're gonna have to wait and see on that one because it totally changes the look of the coach. And what's great is we're doing these things that nobody else has thought of. You know, nobody else has covered up with these ideas. So we got them and they're coming out and it's going to change the look of the bus in a dramatic way. Myself and the folks out on YouTube can't wait to see what your next uh, next designs are coming out. So really exciting news. So 
We'll have to stay tuned for that in future videos. Really an honor to be able to capture what you've done leading the industry in paint hands down over the last decade plus. Greatly appreciate you. I also greatly appreciate all of you out there on YouTube subscribing to the channel and liking these videos. I hope you're all having a great day. Thanks again. See you guys.